bros and hams, hams and bros, bro hams, and of course, ladies. Welcome back to an episode of Minecraft Bed Wars commentary. Kind of in today's video, we're going to be looking at r slash nuclear revenge. Now, if you don't know what Reddit is or what nuclear revenge is, basically, Reddit is this area where people post stories or some of uh, like memes or whatever, and uh. Yeah, they just share them with people, and they have subreddits, and this one is called a Nuclear Revenge. Basically, people just getting revenge on so-and-so, and it's crazy. So, in this story today, I have wife cheated, so I tricked her into publicly admitting having the affair and herpes. So, guys, please watch to the end, and I hope you like the story. In college, I met the woman who I thought was the one. We dated for about two years and had a giant wedding after a 10 month engagement. Her family was pretty well to do in a small southern town. We were both continuing our educations and I was also working to support us. I was pursuing a master's in engineering while she was finishing up her doctorate in anthropology. Over the summer, an opportunity arised for her to make some extra money going as an aide on a religious studies trip to Jamaica. I didn't hesitate when she asked me about it. I mean, she was going to get to visit Jamaica and get paid for it. I saw no downside to this other than missing her from being at home for six weeks. Little did I know at the time, but she had been screwing the professor who arranged the trip for a couple months and it was just a getaway for them to bang all over the island. I cluelessly and happily went about the weeks while she was gone taking extra shifts so I could match what she made in our account and surprise her. What an idiot. One of the students from the trip actually seeked me out to clue me in. I didn't believe him until I started looking for evidence on my own. I broke down and checked her, checked her text while she was sleeping and nothing was there. There were a few voice messages so I decided to listen and there it was. A message from that giant butthole saying how exciting it was that I almost caught them. I opened up her laptop and hit the emails. It was piles and piles of garbage making fun of me for not knowing that they were screwing in our bed and laughing about it. There was so much I was just so heartbroken. Still hurt to take any action. I was lost. I had no idea what to do so I sat on it for a couple weeks and acted as normal as I could. I noticed everything now. I felt so stupid for not seeing it before. So many signs. One stuck out in particular. I noticed that our stash of homemade weed lube was going down even though we were not doing the deed. It was obvious they were using the fruits of my labor to get off more efficiently, more effectively. This really made me bad, like unreasonably Hulk level mad. It finally all hit me. I was a joke to these buttholes and they were using the lube I made and screwing in my bed. I didn't hurt anymore. I just wanted to make them hurt. So while she was studying in the library, I made a new batch of lube. I put enough weed in it to it for it to smell like it was normally, but I also added some poison ivy from our backyard to the mixture. And after refilling the spray bottle we used for application, I waited. A few days go by and I am working extra so I can be out of the house more and BAM! Bait taken. That night after she goes to sleep, my plan goes into action. I sneak her phone away and delete my contact while replacing his number in his contact as mine. I go to bed but can't sleep because it feels like I'm 5 and tomorrow is Christmas. Dawn arrives and she's in the shower. I get a text. I'm super itchy, are you okay? Now lord, now is my time. Look, I thought it cleared up, but I guess I had a flare up. I'm sorry, but I've got herpes, and I guess you do now too. I heard this girl squeak in the shower. I'm covering my mouth not to lose it. I went on to tell her that it was time to end things now. A new semester was about to start and I kind of had a little crush on another TA. I wanted her mad. This is a woman who never got told no, and grow no growing up and never had to deal with rejection. Let her know from a balding dude in his 50s with herpes. 
When she got out of the shower, it was obvious she had been crying, but I could see the anger in her eyes. I could see how uncomfortable she was, squirming at the table, drinking coffee, and mulling the situation over. Another little nudge is what she needed. The reply she got to her pages and pages of anger and sadness was, Thank you for the good times, but can you keep this secret between us? I don't want to ruin my chances with anyone else. She is flush with anger now, just seething. She gathered her keys and headed out the door without even saying goodbye. But I knew where she was going. I booted up her laptop and set it to reformat, deleting her dissertation and any notes pertaining to it before following her to campus. I parked a few lots over and rushed over to his office where I find her screaming at him for giving her herpes. There's a lot of people there, professors, aides, students, other faculty, I'm dying. He is beyond embarrassed and confused as crap. She is ugly crying in front of her peers. I am just in heaven. I didn't even care that people were going to think I had herpes too. The fallout was apocalyptic in their department. He lost his job due to code of conduct at the university and got divorced the following year. State law was that he, we had to be separated for one full year before granting a divorce. I had to keep mostly assets, primarily savings, and not a ton, but I worked for it. She never finished her doctorate and went on to be a perpetuary pregnant housewife that sells, sells her life on Facebook, and he teaches high school now. It took a few years for it to all unfold, but watching it was glorious. TLDR, wife cheated, so I made her think she had herpes and engineered a social situation for her to out her affair publicly herself. The funny thing is, he goes on and gives a recipe for his homemade weed lube, and it's like, there's like full instructions and everything. Wow. Well guys, that was an episode of me reading Reddit. So this time it was r slash nuclear revenge. If you guys have any other Reddits you would like me to read, and if you liked the video, please like, comment, do whatever you feel necessary. And please, thanks for watching, and as always, catch you on the flip side.